Hi, before we get into the six steps of how to be honest, it is important to understand why being honest is one of the most significant factors on the path of you becoming your best you. Please be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell for more videos like this one every Wednesday. If you like this video, please be sure to push that like button, share it with a friend, and have them join us on How Will Consultations, the how-to to being true to you. By the way, have you downloaded your free Positive Affirmation screensaver? Click the link below for your free download and let us help you have better days every day. So why is being honest important? As they say, a little honesty will take you a long way. Being honest means being free of deceit and untruthfulness. Always remember that in order to truly be honest with others, we must first be completely honest with ourselves. As being honest with others will earn their respect, being honest with yourself will encourage self-respect. Honesty helps reveal the truths in our current reality that will be essential in shaping our future. Sometimes out of fear or out of the desire to protect ourselves or others, we are often compelled to be untruthful in our discourse. However, always keep in mind that you cannot tell the right people the wrong things, and the people that should be in your life will remain in your life. While deception can be the cause of severe ties between people that would otherwise benefit from each other's lives, self-deception leads to a massive amount of pain, doubt, and regret. Choosing to be more honest can be the most important factor to being the best version of yourself. Because, as said by Courtney Warren, not changing when confronted with the truth is a choice. So without further ado, here are the six steps of how to be honest. Step 1. Acceptance. Accept that you cannot be anything that you are not. And no matter how hard you try to polish your truth, you can only be who you are. Accept that your truth is unique. Avoid comparing your life journey to others. Accept that you are sometimes at fault in the way that you interpret things happening to you and be open to growth. Admit the truth and allow the consequences that follow to serve your reality for the better. Only once we accept who we are and what we are going through can we begin to take responsibility of being true to who we are. Step 2. Vulnerability Being vulnerable is being open to emotional rupture, yet trusting yourself to know that you will not be led astray. Always be inquisitive and question your reality, but never fight against it. It takes true humility to say that you do not know, yet it is the only way to truly learn. Always have an inquisitive ear and be humble to the teaching that life has to offer. As said by Confucius, the man who asks a question is a fool for a minute, yet the man who does not ask questions is a fool for life. Step 3. Relinquish control. You are exactly where you need to be when you need to be. Don't try to impress anyone with something that you are not. You cannot control anyone's reaction to your truth. By being dishonest, you are guiding someone to a falsified perception of who you are. This can only create hollow relationships where despite people being close to you physically, they will feel very far emotionally and spiritually. This rupture is created with dishonesty. Step 4. Silence. If you can't speak the truth, do not speak at all. Your silence is often much louder than your words. Choose your words wisely. Because your thoughts create your words, your words influence your actions, and your actions shape your life. Be weary of the life that you are creating through the expression of your words. If you cannot stay silent, know to say less by being conscious of the truthful person that you are growing to become. Learn to frame your words to create the life that you desire. Step 5. Self-Awareness be conscious of the presence and of your surroundings. When you feel the need to lie or are triggered towards an untruth, pause. When you feel stressed or cornered into a situation that will bring out negativity, pause. 
when you feel like people around you are guiding you to a path that you are not okay with. Pause. Take a deep breath and become conscious of the truthful person that you are aiming to become. Step 6. Abandonment of Fear Do not fear the outcome of a truth. Embrace walking into a reality that can serve you in contrast to living in the shadow of one that can only stout your true potential. Live above the idea of rejection and accept life free of denial. Always remember, it is not only about the abandonment of fear, but also the fear of abandonment. Live free of illusion, because what is true will live forever, and what is a lie never really was. As quoted by Jay-Z, nothing real can be threatened, and nothing unreal exists. So that's it people, those are the six steps to how to be honest. Post a comment below and let people know how being honest has helped you. Please like and share this video and remember to subscribe and I'll see you here next time on Howell Consultations, the how-to to being true to you.